Go. Here we are in the middle of what the Savanta Ecological Consultants for GR Canada Limited call wetland number two. It's just off of Dorchester Road between the Conrail drain and the CPR line you see behind you. This wetland is threatened. Um, it's now a protected wetland. But Savanta has asked the Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry to come out here and do a reevaluation of this wetland. The basic reason we're making this video now, you can hear by the chorus of the Western Chorus Frog all around you that this is a wetland that has an important ecological function provide habitat for a declining frog species. This frog is endangered in Quebec and a subdivision was stopped because of its presence. We shouldn't have to wait for a disaster to protect areas like this. This is now currently protected and it should remain so. And I hope the ministry does not get tricked by the tricks of Savanta into coming up with some nonsensical reason to say that this is not a protected wetland. Oh, that little bit of orange there. Yeah, and it's in this threatened wetland number. So that would make a good, both a good the still image and the video. Yeah. Here he comes. See that little guy? That's a, looks Maybe. like an otter. Otter, yeah. It looks like a little otter. It's an otter. Yeah. Beautiful. Where'd you go, buddy? There he is. Look at him. He looks. He's probably still rather young. He doesn't look too large. Being here. And he's looking right at us. Pardon? That's good. Otter hasn't been recognized as being present here. Okay. Now we have one. Let's see if I can get a little closer. Oh, he's gonna run. Run back. There he is. You guys can see him. He's probably going to get scared when I get close. There he goes. He's running, making a run for it. Now he's in the bush. And I think we lost him, guys. Maybe one underground. Maybe he has a little hole buried in those rocks. Okay, go. We're walking between wetland number two and wetland number three. Wetland number three is this forest there. That's wetland number two. It's a good example why there shouldn't be any development here at all. There's the otter there, which is a, a species recently being recovered to Niagara, which is a species in that we hope to have more of in the future. We also saw on the way frogs, although we weren't able to record them, in between the uh, uh, protected wetlands two and three. Although this doesn't appear to be the greatest wildlife habitat, it's full of wildlife. Agreed. Despite the mowing that discourages wildlife they persist and the area needs to be completely protected from development
wood frog. Oh, wood frog, brown wood frog. And there he is, beautiful looking. And we got all these sounds of other frog species in the background. And there he is again, he's just sitting in the sun, relaxing the morning. <laughs> Is he going to make a sound though? Is he going to say something? Lots of frogs in here, guys. Yeah. Yeah, one. Uh, here we are in what the vent has called wetland number three. This is another area that is currently a protected wetland. But GR Canada has asked MNRF to downrate this and take away its protected status so they could build over top of it. Within the next couple of months, this will be part of the plan downrating expedition by Savanta and MNRF. I think by seeing this you can see how absurd this expedition is that's being planned. You hear all around you both the calls of the western chorus frog and the sort of growling call of the wood frog. We're actually blessed to see a wood frog uh, a few minutes ago at the edge of this vertical pool. So uh, uh, let us hope that, uh, pray that this doesn't get anywhere and that both the MNRF refuses to downrate this wetland and it is uh, properly protected as, a, as this ecosystem should be. Here we are at wetland number four. This is the conclusion of our tour of wetlands that are threatened by down rating by a planned expedition of Savanta and the Ministry of Natural Resources and Forest. The calls you hear around you of the western chorus frog are certainly excellent reasons why this should not be downrated. You can hear a peep also mixed into those calls. That is the spring peeper. Another species of frog that depends on its life in breeding in these vernal pools. Uh, I think it's absurd when you hear the That's spring right peeper there. I think he's peeping out, isn't this a dumb idea to downrate this wetland? This is obviously a wetland, it is a place where I need to live. It is a place that should be remain protected. And it shows you the absurdity of this planned uh, expedition to downrate these wetlands for the benefit of GR Canada Limited. Tons of them down there. Yeah, it's like these two are the gatekeepers. And those are like the, that's where the party is and like something. There's one on either side of this opening, right?
We got a downy woodpecker. Near this nest, the top of that tree. Can't see him from here. Oh, I gotta get a different angle. And there he is. You guys see him up there? That's a downy woodpecker. Still trying to spot one of these frogs. Down here, there's dozens of them. We are at the end of Wetland 4. From the wonders of this place we've seen today, when MNRF comes to do this review of wetlands, they should expand the wetland to make the protected area longer than it is, bigger than it is because they seem to have underestimated the size of this remarkable wetland. End of what is called wetland number four, a young pin oak. This is another example of the significance of this wetland and why it should remain protected. It also shows you that the pin oak will succeed the uh, green ash if they are killed by the ash.